This is going to be a longer video. Uh, we're going to go through a few things here uh, to get the Tetra Kit and Tetra Kit Player demonstrated. Uh, there's going to be the use of GNU Radio, and uh, since I'm having to use some IQ files, um, there probably will not. You'll just have to trust me on the audio. There is audio, uh, but I've been asked um, basically not to play that audio. Uh, <clears throat> If I get a chance, maybe I'll do this video again uh, with some uh, different IQ files, but this is what I have time for right now. So Tetra Kit here, you can see Downlink Decoder and Recorder Kit. And so that, that can basically decode the Tetra and then uh, put it in some raw files, which can be converted to audio, which you can listen to. But someone had mentioned, hey, we want to listen to it in near real time or real time. So that's where this Tetra Kit player is going to come in, streams events and files produced by Tetra Kit, and then plays them. Now, minus the fact that the Tetra Kit player needs npm, which is just a simple sudo app git install npm, which I've already done. Everything is there. Disregard everything else you see. Uh, I'm going to try and put everything in Dragon OS, which Larry's Tetra Kit already is in there. I'll just add the Tetra Kit player, and uh, I'll try and cover everything uh, that I did to get this to work. That's not to say NPM versions can't change, and you might have to do something different. So... Let's see, we're going to open, there's going to be a lot of windows open. The Tetra Kit is in user source Tetra Kit, and we'll go into the decoder folder first. And because of where all this is sitting and the permissions and everything else, I'm going to use sudo decoder. We will move that off to the side for now. We'll open another window, go to the user source Tetra Kit recorder. In there, you'll see a raw folder, which I've emptied. Well, let me remove these for right now. Okay, we're at empty. And we'll be in the user source Tetra Kit recorder. We'll use sudo again. We'll go with the recorder. Uh, let's see. Just kind of have these off to the side here. All right. We're going to open up Sig Digger for a second. And so Sig Digger is going to have a role in here. This is a really good tool here. I went here, I clicked File Source. I left it on Auto Detect. I browsed my uh, IQ, or well, let me see, my .raw files here. And we'll try. The 60, uh, let's see, try the 16 meg. It open, you'll notice that it puts the correct sample right here, which we're going to need to know. You can see the center frequency. We click play. We've got, um, now there is some audio here. And so we've got these three distinct humps here. I'm going to use this information 427 286 this frequency is important and uh, stop this for now minimize it so I can remember and open up another folder or another terminal all kinds of terminals if we do hackerf info we can see what hackerf version we have what lib is in here, so I'm just going to point this out again when you're using Dragon OS. You need your HackRF flash to firmware 2021 uh, or, or, or potentially higher, but at least that. So I'm going to open up GNU Radio Companion. And we will start with a clean slate. You'll see you got the red here. Make sure you uh, Let's see, TX will just give it a name, an ID here, hit apply, OK. And we'll search for a Osmocon sync. And we'll search for file source. OK, 
Okay. I open up the file source. I'm looking in um, my folder here I created for the raw file. We'll go with the 16 here. Hit apply. Okay. Connect the out to the in. And we want to make the sample rate match what we saw over there. So it was like 240. And the center frequency we want to match 427, 286. 427.286. Okay. Should be there. Another thing with Dragon OS, if you're using the Hacker F or really any um, SDR and you're setting up your flow graph here, uh, because all the drivers are in Dragon OS, uh, this would be for the Hacker F. I'll do Hacker F equals zero. If you had the Blade RF, you could probably put Blade RF equals zero. Zero being how many devices you're in and which one you want, which one you want to select. So I've only got one Hacker F plugged in. So I'll do that. We're going to open up yet another terminal window. Now, of course, you won't have to do this if you have Tetra for real in your area. But uh, let's see, Tetra Kit will go into the PHY GNU Radio 3.8. We'll do a GNU Radio Companion of this file as well. Okay. We want a file source. Uh, we might maybe need a th throttle. I can't remember. Let's see. Go here, here, out to here. We'll turn off the RTL SDR source because we're using a file. Let me let me back up a second. We don't need this because we're going to receive it for real. And if RTL SDR source is uh, that's perfect because I have also an RTL SDR plugged in. Yeah, we pretty much can leave everything as is. If you wanted to get a little closer, you can change the frequency here. And so let me think. We will open up the flow graph for the Tetra kit. We'll come over to our Hacker F where we're going to transmit that IQ. Okay, we look down here, everything looks fine. We're going to minimize this. We are going to change to... Uh, we're going to try 427.18. 427.18. And we'll take a look over at our decoder. We see we're getting information there. Let's look at our recorder. Okay. We're getting information now and we are getting raw files decoded so while it's doing that we're going to take a look at the tetra kit player so i pulled this down from github here tetra kit player just pulled the the standard one down none of the forks or anything like that what a git uh git clone as I've shown in other videos. Now keep in mind this IQ file is going in a loop here. So once I pull down the Tetra Kit player, uh, I, well, okay, we're, and I don't have to really use Nano or uh, sudo now, but probably the way I set, will have this set up in Dragon OS, you will. There's a hidden file.env. That's where you have your uh, username and password we're going to use here in a second. I changed the kit path to match where the raw. Um, directory is in Dragon OS and where the log text is in recorder. So that I should already have all taken care of by the time this is done. The other thing was 
uh, I had to edit the packet.json and under post start here I removed all uh, the experimental options because that doesn't work anymore and let me see the other thing is uh, because of where everything is this command I just applied sudo on both sides because I think where it needs to get access to let's see. so this and the NPM like I said had to be stall installed this starts up the Tetra kit player once it's uh, running I'm going to open up localhost and this is where the password is needed and that was tetra s3 cret Don't save so now we're looking at the tetra kit player and I would click this it'd be waiting for new messages now because of well probably several things the file that I have here we could try and uh, change this uh, to give you a better idea and we can change that by let's see we'll stop transmitting this one wait till it stops there try this 63 meg apply OK uh, I need to also open it here because I think the center frequency was slightly different 427288 427288 okay transmit this back over here you can see everything's fine there look at the decoder recorder Aha, there we go. Okay, so now as this is coming in, you can see it's making the files. And then I know there's no audio right now because of what I said at the beginning, but this is making those files. And, you know, you can have them set to automatically play. Or if you don't want that, you can come and play and fast forward and rewind or whatever. And uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, that's how you can get up and running with the Tetra Kit and the Tetra Kit player and play near real time audio. So, all right. Thanks for hanging in there.